How did y'all come to have bats? We live a very different lifestyle. We do a lot of homesteading. We have a very natural life. We go through and we actually have a, a greenhouse and we plant our own vegetables. We have a chicken coop. We just, we live a very, you know, self-sustaining life. Minimizing your global footprint, huh? Absolutely. Okay, well, what's bats got to do with it? Both of our properties are backed up to some woods, and there's a river back there, which is home to a lot of insects, mainly mosquitoes. And so when we moved in, we noticed that there were a lot of mosquitoes, so much that we couldn't really enjoy ourselves out on our back porch. So we decided to do the all-natural thing, which was to attract bats to our backyard to help control the mosquito population, because bats can eat up to 1,000 mosquitoes per hour. So bats do better than those mosquito zappers that you get at the hardware store? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. We're an all-natural family, and uh, you know, unlike the youngs here, we don't like to spray pesticides or insecticides. We decide to do things as best we can in an all-natural, eco-friendly way. Mr. and Mrs. Young, did you all know that they were kind of naturalists who... Uh... Oh, yes. I feel like we've actually been quite understanding of their naturalistic ways. They have chicken coops, and you can imagine it's very loud, especially early in the morning, and it's smells not so pleasant either. Um, Take me to the day that you got injured. I had pneumonia for a couple weeks and finally uh, I was actually feeling better and Justin and I actually had a weekend that we were off. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on his mother's apartment again and um, that day he actually went to the garage to get all the tools and I went to the apartment by myself and I went to the bathroom just to like clear everything up because that's where we, we stopped last time. Okay. And I saw this um, spongy uh, mold on the shower part and I was like, okay, well we haven't been there in a couple weeks, understandably, so things might happen. And so I, uh, I got all my cleaning supplies and um, I started, uh, cleaning the, the spot, and it actually jumped up at me, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't mold, it was actually a bat. And, and there, was a, uh, there was wings, and there was, um, like it kept biting at me and attacking me, and, and I, I just, I thought that it was just that, and then all of a sudden it felt like there were hundreds of bats everywhere, and there was just wings and screaming, and, and, and even now sometimes I felt, um, I have nightmares about that incident, and, and I just kind of... <laughs> so you originally thought this was a glob of some kind of mold from being left alone. You yes, disturb it, and it's a bat that attacks you? Yes, Your Honor. And you said there were others in there? There, It felt like there were hundreds, at least. Sounds like a movie. That's exactly what it felt like, Your Honor. So I was in the garage and then getting the tools and supplies. I hear my wife scream and it's a bone chilling scream. I've never heard her sound like this. I run to the detached garage and I look and all these bats are just flying out like it's a movie. And so I, I go in, see my wife, she's in the fetal position laying in, in bat poop, guano essentially. So I'm trying to get to her. I'm beating these bats left and right, trying to get to her. I pick her up and I rush her to the ER because I think she might have rabies or contracted some other disease from that. I see the scratches on your wife's arms. I mean, they, this must have been really bad. It, it was, Your Honor. It's been life changing for us. This was a real bad attack. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Adams, um, y'all are next door. How do bats get into their property? We hate that this happened to them. And, and we've, but we want to make a point that Bats, they don't just randomly attack human beings. They, they have to be disturbed in order for that to happen. So yeah. if you're gonna scrub a bat, of course it's gonna freak out and bite you. They're, they're, they're wild animals.